The first frames of Greg Reitman's documentary, Rooted in Peace, were shot right here in the heartland. The film got its start in Fairfield during a performance by the Beach Boys. It's really nice to sort of bring this film back where we first started, you know, six years ago, and then to return here to show the film. I always like the idea of full circles, so it's the idea of completing the circle, so it's really, it really empowers me as a filmmaker to see that. Reitman describes the documentary as a personal journey. A journey of one man looking for essentially the meaning of peace and is on a road toward enlightenment and the roadblocks that are in the way of him achieving that success and part of that journey is a holistic journey looking at um, the areas of the mind, the heart and the body in terms of inner wellness. The filmmaker says he was inspired to make this documentary from a personal experience he had while he lived in Israel. I'm haunted by this idea of a mother putting on a gas mask to a five-year-old child. And, you know, in my mind, I kept on asking the question, how does a mother explain that to her child? And Reitman didn't realize how much this experience affected him until he was studying abroad in Japan. He was with some friends visiting the Hiroshima Memorial and was confused as to why all of his friends were crying, but he wasn't. It was really just moving. I came back to college, you know, and then two weeks later I woke up and like I had a nightmare and I woke up with sweat all across my face and I came up with this concept that I was going to save the world. Rooted in Peace took six years to complete and that's due not only to figuring out the making of the film, but Reitman had to figure out the meaning of peace. It was also very challenging as, as we were working with, with various writers, how they thought they understood the meaning of peace and they really didn't. Once Reitman found out the meaning of peace, he says it was like an epiphany. That's really what peace is about, you know what I mean? If your mind is, is healthy, if your heart is healthy, if your body is healthy, if you feel good, then your world's going to feel good. The director says after an audience sees the documentary, it's going to move them. It might take a day, it might take a week, or it might take a month, but this the, 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 the content Whatever it's doing internally to us, it's working. And that was really what I wanted to do. I wanted to wake people up and get them to be in touch with themselves. Reporting in Fairfield, Iowa, Alex Wilson, KTVO News.